Hello students, today I am going to talk about kinetics of protein drug binding. So plasma and tissue drug binding we have studied in detail. So when a, a drug into the, into the body can interact with several tissue components of which the two major categories are blood and extravascular tissues. The interacting molecules are generally the macromolecules such as proteins, DNA or adipose. The phenomenon of complex formation with protein is called as protein drug binding. It is mainly of two types. That is intracellular binding where drug binds to cell protein and extracellular binding where drug binds to extra extracellular protein. So when uh, this intracellular binding mainly takes place then uh, drug shows its pharmacological response but when it binds to extracellular protein uh, then it does not show any kind of response but it, it remains confined to that particular protein and that's why uh, it may be unable to show its pharmacological action. So the, all these points we have covered in detail. So today we will see in detail about kinetics of protein drug binding. So, the kinetics of protein drug binding, what is kinetics? Kinetics means it is the study of rate, at what rate the protein drug binding mainly takes place. So, what are the different uh, components which are mainly responsible uh, for protein drug binding? We have studied in detail in that. So, so how this uh, uh, protein drug binding can be uh, studied mathematically, that we are going to see. So if P represents proteins and D represents the drug, then applying law of mass action to reversible protein drug binding, then we can write this equation. P plus D is gives PD, where P plus D are the reactants and PD is the product. P is a protein and D is the drug. So when drug binds to protein, it forms a complex and that complex can be represented as PD. As we studied that this kind of binding is reversible, okay, that's why we can, we have to write over there the reversible arrow. So P plus D gives a product that is PD. PD is nothing but the protein drug complex, okay, and at the equilibrium, Ka represents PD upon P into D. So PD in bracket that is that represents molar concentration of the complex. Okay, P molar concentration of protein and molar concentration of drug. Okay, so by applying the law of mass action, we get this equation. Okay, while Ka represents the association rate constant. Okay, as the association rate constant will be higher, the drug binding will also be higher. Okay, If drug is having higher protein binding, if drug is having higher value of Ka, what does it represent? It represents that higher amount of drug will bound to the proteins. Okay, And that's why very less concentration will be available uh, into the unbound form and it will show its pharmacological action. So, for the drugs which are having higher Ka value, the higher doses are to be administered. Okay, so these things we come to know. Okay, so so the dose of the particular drug can also depend upon its binding affinity to the particular protein. So from the value of Ka, we can decide. Okay, the the, the drug. So at what concentration, at what dose, the drug should be administered. Okay. So, this PD can be further written as Ka into P into D, okay. So, where P is the concentration of free protein, okay. P, the, see, after administration of the, uh, the after administration of the drug, it, it is absorbed into the systemic circulation and proteins are available into its free form, drug may be available into its free form, okay. But if the drug which is administered has found affinity for that particular protein then and then it will bind 
to that protein okay d is the concentration of free drug while pd is the concentration of protein drug complex and ka represents association rate constant okay while kd represents dissociation rate constant okay if drug is having high association rate constant then protein binding will also be higher and a higher doses a higher dose of that particular drug will be required if drug is having higher kd then it will be having less affinity to bind to the particular protein and that's why higher doses are not necessary for that particular drug okay so but when k k is greater than kd means when association rate constant is greater than dissociation rate constant means what means when association is higher as compared to dissociation then we can say that it is a forward reaction means what protein drug binding is favored okay so definitely if k is higher then we can say there is protein drug binding if k is lower then we can say protein drug binding will also be lower okay so if k is greater than kd means we can say that there is a uh, there can be the protein drug binding okay and if pt is the concentration of protein present okay protein is present into two form bound as well as unbound bound and free okay then what we can write pt is equal to pd plus p okay pd that is bound protein and p that is free protein if r is the number of moles of drug bound to total moles of protein okay what r is representing r is the number of moles of the drug which is bound to the total moles of protein okay then what we can write is that r is equal to pd upon pt okay pd that is uh, concentration of protein which is bound to the drug, to the drug and pt that is total proteins so by putting the value of pt into this equation we get pd upon pd plus p okay and by substituting the value of pd into the above equation we get so what is the value of pd that we will see again in into the previous equation that we have yes we have the value of pd that is ka p into d so this value we have to put up further into this equation so by putting the value of pd we get this equation r is equal to ka pd upon ka pd plus p okay so from that the value of p get cancel so ka into d upon ka into d plus 1 okay so this is the final equation this equation uh, above equation holds when there is only one binding site on to the protein and protein drug complex is available into the proportion of 1 as to 1 okay we already know that uh, some of the proteins are having only single binding site while there are a number of proteins which may have multiple binding site so this particular equation is applicable to those proteins which is having single binding site we know albumin has multiple binding site okay so for such a kind of proteins there will be multiple binding site and if more than one or n number of binding sites are available per mole of the protein then this equation uh, can be converted into this equation that is r is equal to n k into d upon k into d plus 1 okay simply we have to put up n on uh, into the uh, uh, into the uh, equation okay so we get this final equation so what this equation represents so r represents total moles of the drug n number of binding sites k association rate constant d concentration of drug okay then uh, this proportion 1 as to 1 what does it represent 1 as to 1 proportion represents that one drug one drug molecule has bound to one protein binding site why if this this proportion is higher n as to 1 or n as to n then 
नंबर ऑफ ड्रग मॉलिकुल्स आर बाउंड टू नंबर ऑफ बाइंडिंग साइड ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन ओके सो वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस हियर इज टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ के ए ओके द वैल्यू ऑफ एसोसिएशन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट के ए एंड द नंबर ऑफ बाइंडिंग साइट्स कैन बी ऑप्टेंड बाय प्लॉटिंग द अबाव इक्वेशन इन डिफरेंट वेज ओके सो वाई टू डिटरमाइन के ए एसोसिएशन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी डिटरमाइन फ्रॉम दैट वी बिकॉज फ्रॉम दैट वी विल कम टू नो हाउ एट वॉट एक्सटेंट द प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग विल बी फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर ड्रग एंड एन मीन्स हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ बाइंडिंग साइड्स विल बी देयर फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर ड्रग सो बोथ ऑफ दिस फैक्टर्स मेनली अफेक्ट द डोज ऑफ द ड्रग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द ड्रग ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इज इसेंशियल फॉर अस टू डिटरमाइन दिस टू वैल्यूज दैट इज के ए एज वेल एज आर ओके सो फर्स्टली वी विल हैव टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ के ए देन फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ आर सॉरी वैल्यू ऑफ एन ओके सो के ए कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाय डिफरेंट के एज वेल एज एन कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाय वेरियस वेज सो टू मेथड्स आई हैव गिवन दैट इज वन डायरेक्ट प्लॉट सो वॉट इज द डायरेक्ट प्लॉट इट इज मेड बाय प्लॉटिंग आर वर्सेज डी वॉट इज आर आर रिप्रीज आर इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ द ड्रग बाउंड टू द टोटल मोल्स ऑफ प्रोटीन वर्सेस डी सो सो हियर यू कैन यू कैन सी इन टू द ग्राफ सो दिस इज द ग्राफ विच इज प्लॉटेड आर ऑन टू द वाई एक्सिस एंड डी ऑन टू द एक्स एक्सिस ओके सो वी कैन नोट दैट ऑल द बाइंडिंग साइट्स आर ऑक्यूपाइड बाय द ड्रग द प्रोटीन इज सैचुरेटेड एंड प्लेटो इज रीच्ड okay so as at the plateau you can say plateau at the higher concentration plateau means which represents saturation of binding sites at high drug concentration okay so there are two values of n you can see n where there is saturation and n by 2 means half of the binding sites will be occupied by the drug okay so at what concentration drug reaches to plateau and at at what concentration of drug half of the binding sites of the protein will be occupied that we will come to know from this graph okay so just by simply plotting the graph we can determine the value of ka here okay so uh, ka can be represented uh, where r is equal to n when r is equal to n by 2 then d will be 1 upon ka then next method is to determine ka is the double reciprocal plot which is also called as lots plot so uh, the reciprocal of the equation uh, above equation that is r is equal to n upon k so we if we reciprocate it then we will get this equation 1 upon r is equal to 1 upon n k into d plus 1 upon n so by plotting 1 upon r okay versus 1 upon e which yields a straight line with a slope 1 upon n k a and y intercept 1 upon n so you can see here so by plotting 1 upon r versus 1 upon d we will get the straight line and from the slope we can determine the value of n as well as value of k a okay so this is uh, all about protein drug binding Uh, kinetics of protein drug binding so so what is important for us to remember is that this equation r is equal to n k into d upon k into d plus 1 okay so by determining the equation so by determining the value of association rate constant as well as n we will come to know about the dose of the drug okay thank you